What is up guys, in today's video we have a Fortnite update. This update was pretty minor, but it did unvault an old item and change the spawn rate of some items in game. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like, see more, and comment down below what you think of this update. So, with today's update, the normal SMG was unvaulted. This was pretty good back in the day, but I don't really see it being that great at this point in time. Because rarity to rarity, it has the same damage as the Twin Mag SMG, but the Twin Mag SMG has a higher fire rate at 13 versus the normal SMG's 11. Who knows what those numbers mean? But the Twin Mag does have a higher fire rate, and if damage is going to be the same, then the one with the higher fire rate is going to kill faster most of the time. The main advantage the base SMG has over the Twin Mag is magazine size. It has 30 rather than 20, but with the Twin Mag, you know, it has that fast reload every other reload, so... In a fight, you have quick access to 40 bullets with the Twin Mag, I feel like. And if you have light fingers, it goes even faster. And then the normal SMG also has a slightly higher headshot multiplier than the Twin Mag SMG. But it doesn't have first shot accuracy. It just starts out with bloom all the time. And I believe it has more bloom than the Twin Mag just anyways. So... While the normal SMG does have slightly higher headshot damage, I'm not sure how frequently you're actually going to be able to hit those and like consistently play around that. Whereas with the Twin Mag SMG, it's more accurate, they have the same damage, and it shoots faster. I just think personally I would rather have the Twin Mag. Even for build mode, I could see some players saying that like that magazine size would be appreciated just for applying pressure. And that is true to an extent, but I would still rather have the Twin Mag because that higher fire rate kind of makes it more likely that you're going to get some, some shots through builds and put even more pressure on the opponent. But let me know down in the comments below which of these you think is better and... Also, let me know if you would like to see a video later this week, kind of like comparing these weapons more in depth after we've had like a few days to play with both of them in the game at the same time. But as it stands now, I think the Twin Mag is just straight better. When it was kind of known this weapon was getting unvolted during the season because the leakers saw that it was added to hollow chests or whatever. And I thought when they unvolted this, they would vault the Twin Mag because that would just kind of make sense because I feel like the Twin Mag is just straight better. But... The Twin Mag isn't vaulted, it's still in the game, they just unvaulted the normal SMG. Doesn't really make sense to me personally. The other thing that they did in this update was they vaulted the Pizza Time Augment and reduced the spawn rate of Chug Splashes. You can see from on this tweet here from Fortnite Status, they did this for competitive because a lot of comp this season was just games going to heal off, like players would just hoard splashes and kind of... Uh, pizza and try to like hold this augment in their inventory list and then just play for heal off end game and that really wasn't that enjoyable for pro players or spectators so they did this to kind of address the heal off meta hopefully it improves things if just for pubs uh, you might miss the pizza time augment it was pretty good but the spawn rate of chug splashes I don't think will be that big of a deal they'll still spawn somewhat frequently and if you're hitting coolers up you probably have better chance of getting the shield fish now than you did before. So that's pretty good as well for pubs. And then even then, ideally, you're going to have slurps anyways. So it's really not that big of a deal. The final thing that was done in this update was that the lock-on pistol was added to competitive. I don't really think this will be that big of a deal in build comp. Like maybe people use it to check bushes. I do think having it to check bushes could be good in zero build competitive. But people aren't really going to want to carry it because of how important bunkers and shield bubbles are. But if you're in a weird situation where you just weren't able to get bunkers or shield bubbles to carry uh, then maybe having this could be nice but I think I would still rather just have some extra heals but that is going to be it for today's update it was a minor update next week we should be getting a major update that will hopefully give us a decent amount of content and set up kind of what's in store for the remainder of the season but let me know what you guys think of the SMG would you like to see a video later this week comparing it to the twin mag um, and what do you think of the changes to heal off? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I think that sniper is somewhere over there. I don't know what happened to them then. Not what I want to do at all. 
GG's. But there was a streamer in that game that was good. I didn't see them die in the kill feed. Why can't you swap swords? I'm not sure. It might just be a bug, but... Um...